In a very significant move, RBI has finally announced the launch of India's much-awaited CBDC, that is Central Bank Digital Currency, which is a sort of official cryptocurrency for retail users from December 1st. This would not be a full-scale launch of the CBDC. This would just be a pilot project with participation from a few banks in just a few locations. The idea of launching a pilot project in a select few cities is to test the waters before embarking on a pan-India operation. In this video, we decode all about this pilot project and the CBDC in itself. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. Let's clear the basic confusions first. Will this CBDC in the form of a crypto? No. Although the concept of creation is the same and this is the only similarity with crypto, but this e-rupee will not be in the form of a cryptocurrency. It will just be a digitized version of the paper minted currency. Second confusion. How will this e-rupee be different from other numerous online transactions we do on a daily basis via UPI, Google Pay and others? In the UPI transactions which we normally do, if I send money from my account into yours, the individual banks carry out those transactions. Those are bank to bank transactions. It is the responsibility of the banks to carry out those transactions. But in the CBDC, RBI will be directly involved and it will be able to track those digital currencies. Third confusion, will this electronic version of the money be different from the usual paper minted currency? Absolutely no, only its form will be different. It will have the same value and acceptance as the legal paper minted currency. It will just be a digitized version of it. The retail e-rupee will be an electronic version of cash and will be primarily meant for retail transactions. It will be potentially available for use by all, the private sector, non-financial consumers and businesses and will be able to provide access to safe money for payment and settlement as it will be the direct liability of the central bank. This e-rupee would be in the form of a digital token that would represent legal tender. It will be issued in the same denominations as paper currency and coins and will be distributed through intermediaries that is banks. Users will be able to transact with e-rupee through a digital wallet offered by the participating banks and stored on mobile phones and devices. Transactions can be both person to person and person to merchant. Payments to merchants can also be made using QR codes displayed at merchant locations. Also, as in the case of cash, it will not earn any interest and can be converted to other forms of money like deposits with banks. Based on the usage and functions performed by the digital rupee and considering the different levels of accessibility, RBI had demarketed the digital rupee into two broad categories, wholesale and general purpose that is retail. On the first of this month, the RBI had launched the digital rupee for the wholesale segment to settle secondary market transactions in government securities or in G6. The wholesale CBDC is designed for restricted access to only select financial institutions. It has the potential to transform the settlement system for financial transactions undertaken by banks in G6 segment, interbank market and capital market by making it more efficient and secure in terms of operational costs, use of collateral and liquidity management. Now, as far as the retail CBD is concerned, what will be launched tomorrow is the first phase of a pilot project that will cover select location and banks in a closed user group. The pilot will initially cover the four cities of Mumbai, New Delhi, Bengaluru and Bhuvaneshwar where customers and merchants will be able to use the digital rupee or e-rupee. Four banks will be involved in the controlled launch of the digital currency in these four cities. Those banks are State Bank of India, ICICI Bank, Yes Bank and IDFC First Bank. Later on, the service will be extended to the cities of Ahmedabad, Gangtok, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Indore, Kochi, Lucknow, Patna and Shimla. Four more banks, Bank of Baroda, Union Bank of India, HDFC Bank and Kotak Mahindra Bank will join the pilot after this initial one. This was all you needed to know about the digital currency that is to be launched by RBI tomorrow. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.